Hi, everyone. I'm George Cowan. and I'm happy to be here with Christine Goyette. We're going to be talking about marriage and how we can make marriage more alive and fulfilling, um, especially Christine works with women. And first, I'm going to say hi, Christine. Thanks for being here. Hi, George. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, Christine, I'm going to read your bio uh, for everybody, and then we'll get into this uh, very important conversation and um, I just should mention that, Christine, you're in my Facebook uh, Ads Mastermind course, so just uh, it's great to have you there. All right, so Christine helps women go from feeling lonely and unhappy in their marriage to feeling cherished and desired again. Whether your relationship has just lost its spark or, or you're in crisis, she can help you revitalize it and empower you to turn things around. And she has a Facebook page, which I will be linking in the notes of this video, and as well as a link to have a 30 minute call with her. And so I will be sure to, and it's a, um, it's a 30 minute uh, complimentary call. Is that right? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Great. Wonderful. Okay. So um, Christine, one of the things, one of the reasons you got into this work is that you were following some conventional advice about marriage and it wasn't really working for you. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I had my a breakdown, really, um, uh, where I realized, wow, um, what I've been following is not working. So one day I had an unusual, honest conversation. My husband told me he doesn't feel loved. And, you know, if he died tomorrow, I'd be okay. And uh, that was huge. Like it, it shook my world because um, here I was thinking, you know, what man want is a strong, independent, not needy woman who can handle it all, uh, and uh, and you know doesn't even need a man. Like he's, you know, she's strong on her own. And um, yeah, so I was like, I was. It was really painful to hear that. And um, and so I, I started looking. You know, it's just like, you know, what makes a man feel loved, really. Um, and so I sprang into action because I'd been following the, you know, like sensibly sounding advice that you hear, like it takes two to have a good relationship, uh, never go to bed angry, uh, discuss your problems, that kind of thing. And, um, if I'd known what kind of damage it would do to my relationship, I would have stopped long ago. Um, yeah. So, um, what I found, like I, I, um, it's kind of like a drug. That's what it seems like, you know, short term, uh, like it works, but long term, you, uh, it has damaging effects, you know, maybe your liver dies or something. <laughs> and um, so uh, I discovered some stuff and uh, it was almost like a, um, I seek a secret I had been let in. And um, I tried the stuff out and within two weeks, two weeks, uh, my marriage felt revitalized and I felt I, I was feeling butterflies again, you know, after 10 years of marriage, I was like, wow, I had no idea it could be that way. And so, um, yeah, I, um, I also did this thing handedly, like my, my, I didn't have to drag my husband to some marriage, marriage counseling. And, um, I was really, I, I, I love that. I could work behind the scenes, you know, one day he was saying, huh. We haven't been fighting in a while. I'm like, hmm, you noticed. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I want to talk about two, uh, there's a bunch of things that I did. Um, and I want to talk about two things. Um, so one that I attribute to giving me butterflies again. And the other one was like the biggest surprise. Like I had no idea how important that was and that I was doing it all wrong. Um, so... The first one was appreciation. And, you know, I had so many blocks. I have to honestly tell you, I was, um, I was like, I was afraid, like, if I appreciated for something that wasn't quite up to how, you know, to my standards, how, up to how I wanted it, he would stop, you know, he, he would, I wouldn't get what I really wanted. Or if I appreciated him for something, then maybe he would think it's optional. And, um, or even resentment, like, hey, I work hard too. Why would I have to appreciate him? Um, so those kind of blocks I noticed. And, um, but it wasn't, it wasn't true. Like, the more I appreciated him, the more he wanted to do stuff for me. It was like, 
wow, this, you know, it's counterintuitive, really. And, um, yeah, and um, so that was really, and so, so it was like a two-pronged effect that appreciation had. On the one hand, I got, you know, he did a lot more for me. Uh, and, um, you know, felt like probably he could succeed with me. Like I was uh, pleasable, probably the right word. I don't know if that's even a word. Uh, but on the other hand, I, um, I, I fell in love with him again because I focused in what I wanted instead of what I used to do. I just focused on all the things he wasn't doing. And um, so, so that came back. It's like, wow, I really have a cool, a great guy. Like, look at all the things that he's doing because I was always hunting for things that I could appreciate him mm-hmm. for. It's kind of like a homework, you know, like look for the things you could appreciate. So that was yeah. really, um, that was really great. So the other thing um, that I wanted to talk about, is like that surprising thing that I didn't know. Yeah, about. And, and actually before you yeah. go on, Christine, go I want to ask you about this. Um, this is, it sounds so simple, but as somebody who has also been married for, for about 10 years, I mean, gosh, it doesn't have to be 10 years. It could even be three years or two years, you know, or, or 40 years. Um, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, and I mean, lots of people watching this understand because they've been in long-term relationships too. It's, it's not intuitive. It is, like you said, counterintuitive to appreciate your partner because the easiest thing for us humans to do is to take things for granted. Um, and so what did you say a bit more about appreciation? How did you appreciate your husband? Like, did you just say something or did you like, how did you? Yeah. Um, lots of different ways. Um, well, first of all, it was, it became a game to me. Um, uh-huh. like, okay, how can I appreciate him? What? And, and so I was, I was like a detective almost. Mm. Um, and so that, you know, really put my mind into like the focus, like I, I shifted my focus, literally. Um, I would write him little notes. I would uh, text him. I would tell him. I would, um, you know, leave like, you know, like in the bathroom mirror when it's all fogged up, you leave a little message there. Um, I would put uh, something on the dashboard. Um, you know, slip a note in his yeah. bathroom, but like, so in different ways. And he really, yeah. and, and say it in front of our son as well. That was a big one. Like, oh, like, yeah. like, um, appreciate like, wow, you know, um, it's because dad's working so hard. We can, we get to do this or we, yeah. um, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, oh, it's like he, you know, he rose a couple inches. Um, that's a, yeah, that's a really great, great tips. And I, I think especially that last one where you, you praise the person in front of somebody else, um, you know, because it's, it's so rare <laughs> that it happens, you know? Um, so, uh, and this is great. And so you were saying the second thing that really was a, was a game changer for you. Yeah. Um, by the way, so, so just, and this leads kind of into that other thing. Um, it's like, I think the conventional thing is you, or that's how I grew up anyways, and maybe other women can relate, uh, where in order to get what you want, in order to see the changes that you want, you have to criticize and you have to, um, you know, mm-hmm. like nag or demand or, um, um, but my experience now, and so that's how, that's how it was for me. It never quite worked, right? And it worked short term because, you know, like, People want to, you know, they either want to get you off your, their back or they want to, they really do care and want to make a difference, but not, it, it's not inspiring. Yeah. Like it's, it's more yeah. like a chore. And, yes. and so, um, yeah, like, so in my, like this whole appreciation, for example, it got me more of what I wanted. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah, that's what I said earlier about counterintuitive. It's not quite, yeah. um, I had yes. definitely a different attitude. So, the second piece that I wanted to talk about is uh, respect and how uh, we women in general, I'm generalizing obviously, uh, we have a quite a different idea of what respect actually means. And, you know, like I never even thought of respect. Like when I, if I would have, I would have probably, you know, thought about the one time I got pulled over by a police officer. You know, like the yes sir, no sir, or to not talk back to a teacher or um, to offer my seat on the bus to an elderly person. That's, you know, that's what I thought of in terms of 
respect and um so uh but for men it could be quite different so if we think of i think women think of respect more in terms of being considerate like you know don't leave a mess or um when we're out pick up his dry cleaning or um if he's you know coming home from, late from work we eat the dinner but that's all nice to him you know i'm sure he appreciates but it it's like it completely misses the mark for respect for him uh like when we like um criticize him uh at the same time or roll our eyes at his idea or um interrupt or um trying to teach him something um or point out his mistakes that's you know he's likely to get defensive because you've just been disrespectful but to a woman she might be really uh puzzled about that it's like why is he reacting that way because in her mind she you know she wasn't uh she didn't call him names or um yelled at him but she was just trying to be helpful or to um uh uh let's or or um what's another word like yeah she was or practical um yes. or, or, or or logical or sensible you know all that um yeah. so in her mind so 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 but then he reacts crump, grumpy why he well she let's say reheats his dinner and that's likely to cause a breakdown because hey he's being disrespectful to me or you know not appreciative so here we like she has no idea what she just that she was just disrespectful and he you know being the strong big man is unlikely going to say you just hurt me or you just emasculated me but instead you know he's he's going to be withdrawn you know maybe watch more tv uh maybe work longer maybe um or maybe you know go on the off offense of uh you know being mean uh or call her names you know all of that so it's really important for the woman to get an understanding of what respect looks like to a man and uh to um you know to demonstrate her faith in him uh in his competence and um um and appreciate his thinking really that's that's yeah. what it comes down to yeah yeah i like that and you you said a word i think that's really uh worth and kind of going into a little bit emasculated him emasculation what is that for those who don't know what that means and why that's important what what what, what is that well you know and um when you uh when a woman would um what's a masculine really um it's like it's like him, it's like downplay the yeah make masculine, him less, right make, make him, him less, less of a man exactly make him less manly yes that's that's really yes. um and but she's not aware of that you know sometimes a woman might be aware um because she gets scared and she's fearful so she needs to cut him down you know like what's what's the phrase like you you now nah, i can come up with it so sometimes mm -hmm. it's on purpose because she's afraid um but oftentimes is is it's um yeah it's she's not aware mm. like in the example i just said you know the criticizing and the rolling your eyes and interrupting said so i actually have a client story where the client would um she uh so the, she would feel like that was like a train coming on like he would have this idea and if she didn't stop the train she was going to be rolled over or or, mm. or end up as a passenger not having any say over what she, what, what was going on um and so when he said something um let's say oh, let's go to las vegas for anniversary for our anniversary for example and she would be like no i don't want to go to las vegas and she would stop it in its tracks like because if she doesn't stop it who knows what's going to happen and so when she learned to be uh you know when you shared about respect and how, what what kind of effect that has on the intimacy of, of a relation physical intimacy too um then um she was like yeah she was willing to give it a try and so she was quite she was quite scared like she's what's that gonna you know am i am i like one of the phrases that a woman would use to be more respectful is to say just i hear you and she thought if she says i hear you to his ideas then that meant um you know it was going to happen 
Right. But really what her experience ended up being was um, she, would, she would say that and he would talk more and then he would uh, try to find out what her, like, hey, what do you think about that? Or uh, would you like that? It's like, it's like, oh, he's actually asking for my preference or for my input. And so she wasn't going to get steamrolled. And in fact, the more she did that, the more... Um, she she described it as I brought out the sledgehammer, like stop the idea right now so that nothing terrible is going to happen, uh, and and you know then throw this big wet blanket on him so stop you know make him stop. But instead, it was he um, she was no longer that drag to him, but instead he shared more. She he wanted he he um sincerely wanted her to be happy and to be on board and to find out what she wanted to do in the, you know, in this example, it's like, it was just a, a real counterintuitive again, it's counterintuitive yes. to yes. let them talk. And, and even sometimes, you know, like somebody will have some ideas and it sounds crazy in the moment, but it's like, Hmm, I hear you. You know, like if he wants to go to the moon, whatever. It's like, instead of saying, that's, in, that's crazy. What are you talking about? And kind of shutting him up. It's like, hmm, I hear you. Yeah. And, and it's just, you know, just an idea. It's like somebody just shares some thoughts. Yes. Yes. But you lose out on it when you stop and, and try, you know, it's like, that's insane. That's crazy. No, we're not going to do that. Or, um, yeah, so... Wow. That listening respectfully really opens up, like it makes for more, you know, it comes back like in the beginning you know, of a relationship, you have these tender conversations and where he shares and really opens up because that's really what most women want, right? They want those kind of conversations, but they squash them along the way mm. um, with that sledgehammer or wet blanket yeah. or whatever term. Like, yeah, that's a really, that's a great example. Yeah, and it, it really is, I mean, part of what we're talking about is this dynamic between male and female, right? It's like when you, when you, do, when you do the respect, it, it, it amplifies the male aspect, you know, of your, of your spouse, you know, and that, that creates more, uh, more of a dynamism in the relationship, which makes things more exciting and more, more fun and more, yeah, intimate, et cetera. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've, over the years, I've... Um... You know, there's this like a woman can do anything a man could do uh, or can do, and so, like you know, she should. And I, I've come to see that's not no, it's not like we have different strengths. Um, that's right, different strengths, different roles, different, different ways role, yeah. that um, mm -hmm. we're, we're different ways that we can be really happy, right? Um, well, thank you so much, Christine. I really appreciate these great tips, profound tips, and things that I'm going to remember. Uh, in my own relationship too. And so um, how can, uh, how can people, you know, we, we mentioned the 30 minute um, call with you. That's a complimentary call. It's called, you call it revitalize your marriage call. And the um, it's really for women who want to stop feeling lonely and resentful and start feeling happy, cherished and desired in their marriage. And the link to uh, the call is, it's a great link, www.callwithchristine dot com call with christine dot com c h r i s t i n e is to spell your name so um anything you want to say about that before we complete the call yeah it's just uh, um i'm offering that just to get the start conversation started because um honestly i didn't set out to be a coach or, or do any kind of business i'm a homeschooling mom i got my plate full but but i felt like you know i felt really sad about um those um, relationships are just like where the woman um, either feels there's no hope or um, you know there's been usually women find me because there's been some kind of crisis you know infidelity or um, or um, yeah hard, you know really hard things that that, that uh, catapult a woman into action um, but it's also um, yeah, it's like, I mean, it just makes me sad to see um, a, um, a couple go through divorce and then everybody loses, the kids lose in the process. And, and there's just like, it can be saved. It can be saved. It can, it can really turn around, even if it looks really grim right now. Um, yeah, I'd love to have that conversation. Yes. And, uh, well, and I hope those who 
uh, are not yet in or not in that situation who want to make uh, their current marriage even better would consider uh, talking with you as well because that's you know why why have a marriage that's just blah you know it can yeah. have a marriage that's wonderful uh, that would be so exciting to me to talk to women who, who are just an, you know like it like me we were not okay like it was okay there was no big fights it was like kind of like roommates really um yeah. and i thought that's how it is like after so many years but it doesn't have to be so i would be really uh, excited to to talk to someone whose marriage is actually pretty good and then just to take it you know, make it newlyweds again. How great yeah, would that that's, be? That's it's totally awesome. possible. Amazing, amazing. Well, thank you so much, Christine, for the work that you do. And uh, those who are interested, there are links below. The link to schedule with uh, Christine for this complimentary 30-minute call is www.callwithchristine.com. So check it out. All right, Christine, thank you so much. Thanks, George. <laughs> Bye.